Hi everybody and welcome to Baseball by the Yard. This is Coach McCreary and today's post is going to explain why hitting the three hole is so important for an offensive team. So let's take a look at first off what I mean by the three hole. Uh, when there's a runner on first base you can see that the first baseman represented by the blue star is holding the runner on. So the three hole represents that space between the first baseman and the second baseman. And of course that space is grown anytime a runner is on first base because the first baseman has to hold the runner on and if there's less than two outs the second baseman is going to be playing a little closer to second base uh, because of double play depth so you have a very large hole on the right side of the infield and that hole is referred to as the three hole so it becomes important for an offensive team to have a few players at least who have the ability to hit the ball through that side of the field and it's not an easy thing to do but I'm going to talk about some of the reasons why uh, it's important to do so. The first reason is the obvious one, is that there's more space uh, to hit the ball through if you are trying to get a hit. Uh, in other parts of the field, the space between the infielders just isn't as big, and so if I have the ability as a left-handed hitter to either hook the ball or pull the ball through the three-hole, or if I'm a right-handed batter and I have the ability to shoot the ball through the right side of the field, I have a better chance of getting a hit because there's obviously more space uh, involved in that side of the field. The second reason why hitting the ball through that hole is important is because that throw from from the right fielder to third base is a much longer throw than it would be for a left fielder or a center fielder who is going to be throwing the ball to third base. Now because of that, the runner that was on first base has a much easier chance of going from first to third on a base hit through the right side of the field. The third reason is the strategy involved with being in a situation where I have a, at least a first and third situation. Obviously if I have a runner on third base with no outs or one out, uh, I have a lot better chance of scoring that run uh, even without a hit. Uh, like an error, a fielder's choice, a pass ball, a wild pitch, a balk, all are going to score that runner from third base. On top of that, if the right fielder tries to make that long throw to third base and ends up missing the cutoff man in the process, often that batter can make his way all the way to second base. So strategically, there's a lot of value of trying to hit that hole because in this case here, the offensive team has a second and third with nobody out or one or one out, and they're in a position to score a lot of runs in that particular inning. Now, let's say the batter did not try to hit the ball through that right side. Let's say uh, he tried to pull the ball instead. Well, he might get a base hit, but because that left fielder has a much shorter throw to third base, there's a very good chance where the offense is going to end up with just a first and second after that base hit. Now, of course, that's not too shabby. It's the offense would take that, but you can see the advantage of hitting the ball through the right side is that strategically we might even end up with a situation of second and third instead of first and second. So obviously, as I said before, for an offensive team, it becomes very important to try to hit that hole uh, in the right side for those various advantages. But the question now becomes, how do you actually do that? How does a batter actually work on and practice trying to hit the ball through the right side and that's going to have to be the subject of a different post. I will probably create a video where I will demonstrate how to practice that particularly off a of tee and so forth so that you can become better at hitting that three hole. So folks that'll about do it for today. Thank you very much for stopping by and as always for more tips on all areas of the game go to baseballbytheyard.com. This is Coach McCurry and thanks for stopping by and thanks for watching.